All right, y'all. So Bitcoin right now has gotten a massive move to the upside. In fact, in the past 12 hours or so, we have come up from the daily open about 9%, which is massive for Bitcoin. And as you can see, we are nearing the top of the channel that we have been trading in since the middle of June right here. Now, this move to the upside is something that was predicted. We were looking to get a move from the up, to the upside from down here. In fact, last week I made this video, are we going to get a massive bounce on Bitcoin, where I said the following. These higher lows here, you know, it just makes sense that we would come back up to the highs. People were getting super bullish up here. We rejected off key resistance. We're able to grab the short trade. People are now getting bearish down here as we get lower and lower. We'll see what happens when New York opens. But if we can hold these levels, it is possible, guys, that we could really now put in a higher high on. Now, I did give the trade setup in advance in the VIP Discord. We were looking to take a long from this area. We actually took three longs from here. The first one was a retest of the Golden Pocket, which worked out pretty well until we had this CPI uh, FOMO, uh, which gave us another dump down. And then we gave the second entry in the VIP Discord, which was looking for a retest of this important level at 19.2. We were able to get into a long from 19.2. And from that time, we have been saying that if we come above 20,500, we could get much more of a move to the upside. I made this video on July 15th where I said the following. Now, if we come above the high volume node, then we can look to move up to this value area high. So right now, so long as we can hold this $20,500 level as support, then I'm actually looking for higher Bitcoin prices to come. So that's exactly what happened, guys. We found support as support. We came above the high volume node. We were looking for the higher Bitcoin price. Here we are right now at the higher Bitcoin price. And so it's very, very important that we understand the macro context of this market, which is the following. I'm going to go to the four hour time frame right here. And we are going to just pull a volume range and take a look at all the volume that traded during the past month. Okay. Now, remember, when we were down at this level, I was looking to come to the upside because we know that when Bitcoin or whatever asset we are trading comes below a value area low. And if anybody's unfamiliar with what a value area is based on volume, it's just when you're looking at price action, typically within a range, right, like a sideways market, this will define the fair value for the asset. And if it comes above that, it's overbought and there needs to be a correction to the downside. If it comes below that, it's oversold and there needs to be a correction to the upside. Now, eventually, we have a breakout or a breakdown. But we can see that most of the time, we come below it, we get to move up. We come above it, we get to move down. We come below it, we get to move up. We come above it, we get to move down. We come below it, we get to move up, right? And so we can assume that this will just continue until all of a sudden it doesn't. So we can long, short, long, short, long, short, and eventually we're going to lose a trade. But in general, most of those trades will be winners. And so here we are again at the high of this area. And this is the area that we were looking to, to come to uh, last week when we were down at this low. And so right now, for me, the most important level is going to be $21,700. We could look at it more of a zone, but in general, that level, 21.7, is very important. Why? Because when we have established a fair value area, and then we come above it and we retest as support, that is telling me that what used to be considered overbought is now considered support, where the participants in the market are now looking to trade at a higher price. And so for me right now, as long as we hold $20,700, I am looking for higher Bitcoin prices. Okay, as long as we hold $20,700, I am looking for higher Bitcoin prices. Now, to what areas are we looking? Well, I would say that we do have a very, very important resistance at about $23,000. And here's why. $23,000 in my opinion, is that last area of resistance before we get a massive move to the upside where there's literally no market structure. And the reason for that is because not only do we have these highs, these highs that we could take out, but if we come all the way back in time to 2020, when we broke out of 20K, we got a massive move to the upside. And then we start to form this bull flag right here. Now, when we form this bull flag, this is pretty much a very, the last area of consolidation we had before the massive bull run really took off. Now, when we come to our current situation, we could see that the 23K level, we pretty much fell right through that, right? 
we pretty much fell right through 23K and we didn't find any support. Now, a lot of times you will notice that if we have an important level of support and we fall right through it, then on the way up, it will act as resistance. And so this to me is the last area of resistance. So if I'm looking for a long trade, I would honestly look to long like this. And my take profit one would be 23K. My take profit, uh, eventually I would, I would target 28K, right? If this is going to be a legitimate breakout, I want to see a retest of the 21,700 area. And then I want to see a move all the way up to the 28K area. And of course, you know, uh, in the VIP Discord, we are uh, keeping track of all these levels. Guys, if you do want to join the Discord where we give the trade setups in advance, we give the levels in advance. You know, for example, the major area that we were looking to uh, short from, let's see, on Friday was uh, the macro golden pocket, basically. So the hypothesis was there's a good chance we'll come up to the 22K area. But if we don't, if we're going to reject, it's going to be from 21 point one ish right well guess what we did get a nice juicy short trade from 21.1 ish right there and uh made for a really nice short uh on friday night we dumped down this is just tp1 uh you can join the community by going to patreon.com forward slash jason casper levels trade setups not signals but setups and a great team of analysis giving the juiciest trade setups and uh technical analysis in here and um, yeah, also guys, if you want to learn how to trade this way, you can check out the course. There's a 25% discount on the trading course. This is the blueprint to always have a plan in advance. So when you come to the charts in the morning uh, or whenever you look to trade, you can know where you're looking to take trades, where you should put your stop loss, take profits, all that stuff. So that's kind of what I'm looking at for Bitcoin right now, guys. If we can hold 20,700, I'm looking for more upside. If we reclaim 23K, I'm looking for a lot more upside. If we reject from either right where we're at and we lose 27K, then I will be looking for more downside, right? Right now, 27K, uh, 21.7K, I would be looking to uh, potentially get into a short uh, or at least build uh, or add two shorts right here. Um, and that's it, guys. These are the most important levels for me, 21.7, 23K, and then uh, we're looking up toward that 28K level. If we do fall down through here, right, then, of course, we know that we have areas we can look for. Uh, to scalp long on the way down, right? Because if we lose this, I'm, I'm assuming we come back down to at least 20.5 uh, and then 19.5 and then potentially 18.5. So I would be looking for bounces along the way down, something like this, something like this, maybe something like this, and then maybe we lose that uh, range altogether. So that's it, guys. Just wanted to come and do a quick update. May the Lord bless all of you in the name of Jesus, the Messiah. I pray everybody watching this video is extremely blessed in many ways. And I will see everybody in the next. Uh... <laughs>